Hello everyone and welcome back to another an amazing chess game by the magician from Riga, Mikhail Tal. A not very well known chess game of Tal against a chess player named Pukudurova, an unknown chess player who is playing with the black pieces, a chess game from 1955 from Latvia. So let's see what happened in this chess game. Tal starts the game with uh, pushing the e-pawn, e4, we have c6, knight to c3, d5, and this is the Karakan defense. Uh, pinning the knight, Karakan two knights variation, bishop takes on f3, queen takes, and then e6, d4, knight to f6, bishop to d3, d takes on e4, knight takes on e4, a pawn sacrifice by Mikhail Tal. But this, this is interesting, we have knight takes on e4, and queen takes on e4, not going after the pawn sacrifice, because this is Tal who is sacrificing the pawn. As you can see, so when Mikhail Tal sacrifices a pawn or a piece, that's that's usually very dangerous for his opponent, because White has counterattack with pushing the c pawn after defending the queen. Knight takes on f6, and it looks like this is uh, an opening trap or something like that. So as you can see, if queen to e5, then bishop to f4 is looking dangerous, and instead of queen to d5, if queen to e5 then bishop to f4 and white has monster development as you can see and white is doing excellent job so knight takes knight takes and not capturing the pawn knight to d7 and then c3 attacking the queen queen to e2 queen to c7 developing developing the bishop and then c4 h5 tall castled bishop to f4 bishop to c3 centralizing the rook tall also did that King to f8, not castling. Uh, maybe black was afraid because of Tal's attack in the king side. Ooh, rook over. And this is like asking trouble, not castling against Mikhail Tal. Castling, trying to castle manually. Ooh, rook down, Ooh, rook up, queen back. And then Tal is lifting to rook and he is using the rook as an important attacking asset. Knight to h5, defending the bishop. And then queen to e4 by Mikhail Tal. Making the same move again and making uh, moving the queen, queen to c7. It looks like black doesn't have any uh, creative idea. d5. Tal is opening the game. e takes on d5. e takes on d5. c takes on d5. And then checking the king. Bishop to b4. And bishop goes back. Bishop to d6. Well, why not moving the king? What happens if king to g8? Is this a good move? Well, this is not a good move at all. Because of queen to e8, that's check. Rook takes, rook takes on e8. Check, mate. And black is getting checkmated. So, after checking the king, blocking with the bishop, and then queen takes on d5. Knight goes back. Well, eh... Uh, as you can see, after bishop goes back, this is both attacking the bishop, the queen is under attack, and also the bishop is under attack. Many pieces of Mikhail Tal is under attack. But then queen takes on d5, and we have knight to f6. Let's check out what happens if queen takes on c2, then queen takes on f7. This is the most obvious continuation, and black is getting checkmated. So, capturing the bishop is out of questions. Black has to defend on f7. This is what happened in the real game. But what happens if bishop takes on b4? Can you see the best move in this position for white? What was Mikhail Tal? What was he thinking? What, uh, what was Mikhail Tal's idea? So, can you guess the next move for, uh, for white? So it looks like this is a discover attack to the queen after bishop takes on b4. This is attacking and also attacking to rook. Did you see the move? That is rook takes on f7. What a shot. Queen takes on f7. Bang. Checkmate. And if king to g8, then check. Rook to e8. This is check and only move. And then check one of the only defenses. And then check mate. Sorry, bishop to f8. And then check 
checkmate. There is no defense as you can see black is getting checkmated. Whatever he does. There is fourth checkmate so this is why knight goes back and then queen to e5 by Mikhail Tal. What a beautiful move. So you can take the queen of course the bishop is pinned. And sacrificing the light square bishop black eight. What the hell I'm going to take the bishop. But then bishop takes on d6. So it was not a sacrifice. King to g8. And then bishop to e7, we have rook to d1. Actually in this position, rook to e8 was the better move. And then queen to b5. And still white is better. White is doing okay. So in this position, rook takes knight. And then capturing the rook is a possibility. So black has to be very careful. So bishop to e7, but rook to d1 was actually losing on the spot. Because of rook takes on d1, queen takes, king up. And then queen to a4. Rook up, defending, check, capturing, and Mikhail Tal is simplifying the game. He played rook to g4 and how to defend the checkmate threat. So defending with the rook, but now check, capturing, exchanging, and simplifying the game. And Tal pushed the pawn and black resigned. The possible continuation, everything is falling apart, capturing one more pawn and also defending on f2. And if king to f4, then queen takes on f6. And as you can see, this is all over for black. A very instructive and a beautiful chess game by the magician from Riga. I hope you have enjoyed watching this chess game. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.